Hey, uh, this is another unboxing of a backgammon board. Uh, this is another backgammon board from FM Gammon in Istanbul, Turkey. Uh, I just got it from their factory uh, yesterday after it took about five days to get here via FedEx. Uh, like the first board of, from FM Gammon that I unboxed and reviewed about a month ago, this one was packed like it could be sent to the moon. And so, um, this is a different board though, and the reason I'm, the reason I got another board is because I actually intend to give this to a friend uh, for their big birthday next year. And there's also a difference about this board in that uh, it is made from a different material than the first board. The first board that I reviewed and unboxed was made from solid wood. This board is made from a manufactured wood called MDF, also known as medium density fiber board. And the thing with medium density fiber board is it allows the board to be much more reasonably priced. Uh, these boards typically go for somewhere in the range of 450 or so dollars, maybe even a little less. Um, whereas the Beechwood board that I had before and their pure mahogany boards from FM Gammon go for somewhere in the range of $850 to $950. So this is about half the price. Um, so that was one reason why I wanted to review it and unbox it, was to show people that these boards can be uh, more reasonably priced, and yet I think they have the same features and the same style and the same positives with these boards um, that you'll find in their more expensive boards as well. So <laughs> unlike the last time I unpackaged one, I used a razor this time and I was able to just cut right through this stuff. So I don't really need to do a whole lot more than just move it out of the way. So let me do that. Let's see, am I just oriented right? No, I don't, let's see. This is the FM logo. FM standing for Fuat and Meta, the two Turkish guys that started this company about 12 years ago. Uh, as you might recall from my first video, they're based in Istanbul. They have about 15 employees. They make everything in-house. And what you also may not know about FM Gammon is FM Gammon is the company that both designed, manufactured, and shipped the recent uh, Backgammon Galaxy Neptune boards for Backgammon Galaxy, the website, of only 50 were made and they sold out in a week. So FM Gammon did a really great job with those boards, uh, designing something different that obviously went really quick. So this board being made from uh, a manufactured wood, which is actually essentially wood fibers and wood product that's mixed together with resins and glues and waxes and then pressed and heated up at very high pressure and temperature is used in all kinds of things like furniture, shelving, uh, cabinetry, and things of that nature. So, same kind of bag that I had with my other board. I think this is just a pad to keep it from moving around much. I'll get this razor out of the way. Um, let me pull this out of here. Whoops. This board is going to have a different texture on the exterior, and it's going to have a different texture and color on the interior as well. A little bit more stuff on this bag. You can see it's got the FM logo up here. All right, this has got a slightly different handle, not nearly as substantial as the VIP board that I have that's made out of beach wood, but let's see, let's take this out. That helps. Oh, look at that texture. That's interesting. This is obviously sort of a, uh, a vinyl. It's got an interesting kind of almost like a snakeskin kind of pattern on it. Handle's not as substantial. You can see the FM logo here. It's, I like that logo. Get all this sort of dust off of it. This is black. And this is manufactured board. So let's go see what this looks like on the interior. Same kind of hinges. Here we go. Oh wow. That is really a very pretty
pretty color. I love that blue and white. Wow, look at this whole big thing I got here. Wow, what did they put in here? Let's see. Oh, wow, they included a nice scoreboard that they're making now. Really nice. Oh, that's cool. That'll be really cool to use. Let's see. Looks like I'll have to do that later. I just got some, some things. What else did they put in here? Oh, wow, they put in some alternative checkers, too. Wow. Boy, that is special. I was not expecting that. These are actually finger dished sort of marble checkers, white and blue. Wow, that's really special. I wasn't expecting that. These are the checkers that come with it. These are flat checkers. Wow. Those are beautiful. And this holds a lot of checkers. That's 12 checkers right there fit on this board. I had, I had one person ask to make sure that these fit all along the base of the board. And they fit perfectly with just a little bit of play in there. That's great. Those are gorgeous. Like the other board I have, uh, this has the sort of felt, really nice soft. This feels like really soft and has these sort of sewing points but are just printed felt and I love the sort of dark blue and the sort of teal blue and the white. That is gorgeous. And then that uh, manufactured board, let's see what it sounds like. Here's the, uh, here's the, cube with the dice in it. Blue and red precision dice with serial numbers even. That is really, that's really special. That's cool. All right, let's see. Oh, and wow, it even has a spot for the cube itself, which the VIP board did not have. So that's actually really good. I like that. Let's see. Yeah, it has the same sonority, the kind of same tone as the, uh, the VIP board. Interesting. I think that sounds really nice. I like those dice colors. Those are cool. Same kind of cups with a trip lip. These are black. The wood's basically a black lacquer. Has that same um, styrofoam kind of interior. Yeah, very nice. Let me set this up and we'll... Uh, We'll play a little round with my dog. Well, first of all, I just love these checkers are absolutely gorgeous. Uh, these are different than the ones I got uh, with my VIP board. These look like kind of almost like tie-dye. Just really nice, splashy, uh, sort of psychedelic marbling. Really, really gorgeous. Like look at this one right here. That's, that's a gorgeous checker right there. These are really, really nice. And I haven't even taken out the ones that they sent along with it as well. Um, I really, really like the dark colors as well. Um, I'm wondering if I'm gonna just keep this board. Maybe get my friend something else. Anyways, let me play a couple of dice and see how this sounds. Again, the dice cups have this nice uh, sort of lining and um, it's really nice. So let's go four, one. That's because blue rolled. And white, six, four. Got a hit there. Plenty of room on the bar for checkers. Uh, the hinges are stainless steel and really flush with the MDF. She has the same kind of you know tone as the uh, the VIP board. That's like twice the price. Um, so that's that's a good. Oops. <laughs> Guess I got to come in first, right? Uh, five and three. Hmm. I, 
played really horribly uh, the last time uh, when I made a couple of moves while Kara was filming and I analyzed him in XG and it was like a couple of serious blunders. So let's see if I can do a little bit better. I love that sound. It's got that nice kind of almost moist sound of the dice hitting the styrofoam or the lining in there. Really pours nicely. Uh, wow. Okay. That's a good roll. Threes. time for a double. Um, now the question is here, would you actually run with that six or would you actually try and put a slot one here? Anyways, um, this is just really nice. So keep in mind, um, these boards are much more reasonably priced than the hardwood boards. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with the, the beechwood or the mahogany. They're absolutely gorgeous and they're very heavy. Um, beautiful tournament boards, but if your price range is definitely in, in the more of the 400 uh, and up range, this is definitely a really nice alternative. And I also really like the fact that it has a slot for the cube uh, that can go on either side, and then you can put it here if you take the cube or not. So that's really nice. Um, this is just another example of um, FM Gammon just knocking it out of the park. This is absolutely beautiful for a very reasonable price point. This is the same kind of price you'd pay for you know, a really nice Wycliffe Brothers board or you know, something else like a Chris Lloyd, uh, probably even like less expensive than a Chris Lloyd. So I, I really encourage you to check out FM Gammon's website and send them an email and see if you can work something out. Thanks a lot, FM Gammon. Bye.